Well, as some South Florida voters head to the polls today, we're looking forward to 2024. CBS News Miami's Elliot Rodriguez has spent time in several communities to gauge the level of concern amongst voters a year away from the presidential election. And by far, the overriding theme is the economy. But there are still some other issues that are top of mind. Elliot talked to voters in Broward about gun violence, climate change, and political polarization, which is the inability of Democrats, Republicans, and independents to work together. A weekday at Fort Lauderdale Beach usually means you're a tourist or just lucky to have a great schedule. But those who live and work here are struggling to make ends meet. What do you think are the key issues leading up to the elections next year? Uh, definitely inflation. Um, you know, I've seen everything go up except for my paycheck. I have a daughter that's just graduating high school and she's looking at buying a house. Well, I don't know if you're young and tried to buy a house now and there's just not much out there for low income beginning people. I would say interest rates, inflation, but I'd also say national security and, you know, protecting the U.S. and, you know, with all the wars going on right now, you know, you got to think about America first, too, at the same time. So, you know, that's that's my biggest key issue. I talked to people of all backgrounds on Las Olas Boulevard. This man is from Israel. United. United the people together. This is the most important thing. This lady is a real estate agent. Affordable housing. I mean, there's a lot. Um, of great luxury homes here and things like that which we deal in but um, the workers need to have a place to stay as well but the land's not cheap. According to Realtor.com the average home price in Fort Lauderdale is more than $500,000. The average rent more than $2,700 and that's putting a major stress on voters. Another issue I heard about is a basic one the right to vote. The right to vote is very important. I think that everybody should be allowed to register, everybody should be allowed to vote, and there should be no gerrymandering of the uh, districts. My next stop was Lauder Hill, where I spoke to Reuben Roberts, a former local head of the NAACP. He's worried about political polarization. Some politicians are stoking fears uh, in people. That creates more tension in our community, and I think that if we're Americans, we really need to be looking at how we can live in unity together. Brandy Moore is the owner of Liquid Paradise. Oh, that's good. While she serves delicious daiquiris, she knows there's nothing sweet about today's economy. Everybody I have here on staff is the second job. It's not their first job. So it's all people needing second jobs just to make ends meet now when it wasn't the case a couple years ago. The longer I stuck around, the more issues that came up. I want to say for me right now, it would definitely be gun safety. Um, gun violence is the number one cause of death with amongst our youth right now, and I don't sense a urgency in making that decrease. One issue I would speak on would be climate change. I think that is something as a Floridian that we need to continue centering and making sure that our local electeds and state electeds are serious about. If we do not have the ability to have our people with livable wage jobs that would allow them to provide for their families, one or two things are gonna happen. They're either gonna go out and make it through illegal ways, or they're gonna end up staying home and not really working. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS News, Miami.